So you want to fix what your text looks like in edit mode? Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to Test by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.8 once again, taking a look at how to fix up your text. Because if you don't, if you don't recall, um, it's usually pretty messed up when you uh, when you take a look at it in edit mode. The faces are usually uh, pretty bad and pretty haywire. So we're gonna go ahead and, and fix that up today. I'm gonna go ahead and delete default cube. Goodbye default cube. We're gonna go ahead and shift A, add in a text object. RX 90 on my numpad to rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis as to scale it up a little bit I'm gonna I'll go to the text tab here um, and go to geometry I'm gonna extrude this just a little bit just like that doesn't matter what the value is it's just be really really tiny just it just can't be super flat is my point just uh, extrude it just a little bit um, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, I want to put this in the center so horizontal alignment uh, to the center and that's uh, and that now it's all fixed up we're gonna go ahead and object and then go to uh, convert to mesh from curve meta surf text and then now you can see if we hit tab to go in edit mode we have all of our vertices now they're editable but the problem is is that this looks really bad this is this is not really usable if you want to do specific things with it if you're just using it for text then it's totally fine but we can't really do a lot with this if we put a material on this the material will be stretched if we want to put a displacement modifier on it uh, that'll be stretched it'll be really weird so let's hit shift D to duplicate this and then hit GX to just move it over just so we can do a little bit of a com comparison once I'm done with this now with this guy over here I want to go ahead and go to our modifiers tab right here add in a modifier this modifier is going to be remesh now you can see it pretty much got rid of all of our uh, text letters which is not good so the way we can fix that hit remove disconnect disconnected pieces uncheck that now we have the rest of the disconnected pieces but they look kind of weird so let's turn the octree depth up to eight instead of four that looks better now but now if we go into edit mode you see that it's still not exactly right so let's go ahead and, and, and mess around with this scale here um, this scale is going to determine how big or how small your faces are so I'm gonna go ahead and input this for the first value on point one uh, well, not point one. That's too low. Uh, point three. Yeah, we'll put it on point three. Hit apply, and then if I go into edit mode by hitting tab, you can see we have uh, faces now, which look much, much, much better. Um, now the problem with this is, is that you can see that there's a couple of mess ups here and there. It's not too big of a deal. It's much, much better though. And of course, you can always go through and fix this by hand. Now it's much more workable. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and, and go back, um, and I want to bump this up to eight. 0.8. We're going to point, uh, bump the scale up to 0.8 and then hit apply. Now you can see if I go back in edit mode, we have a lot more. There we go. A lot more vertices than we had before. Um, very easy to work with, but we can also add a subsurf modifier and it's much, much uh, better to work with uh, at the same time. So now you can see we have all of this. If I go ahead and go to object shade smooth, you can see that this is much, much easier to use. It looks much better and everything else. But like I said, if you want to, you can definitely go ahead let me go back to flat. You can definitely go ahead and just uh, fix up a couple of these vertices. We don't need all these double vertices here, so we're going to go ahead and just fix up a specific area. Let's see if I find a, find a good place to do this. Um, right, here, right. If I select a vertice, hit, hit period on my keyboard. You can zoom into it. Um, right here, you can see we have this uh, vertice kind of intersecting in this triangle face, which is not good. So what we're going to do is we can do a couple of different things. We can just go ahead and go to this uh, uh, snap right there, turn that snap on, and go to vertex. Um, make sure we have move on. Yeah, that's good. Now if we grab this guy and hit G, we can move it down here. But you can see now we have two faces in the same point because they're just two of them living right there. So we can go ahead and go to this button right here, which is show whole transparent scene, and make sure we select both of those vertices, right? Now we have both those vertices selected, and we can go up to, where is this at, uh, vertex merge vertices right here, and then go to at first. Now both of the vertices are the same vertice, and we can move them um, in in that regard. Now there's not two vertices right there, which is nice. So we can go ahead and do the rest of this for the rest of the entire, um, for the rest of the entire uh, edge loop here. So we can just put that one down, put that one down. And then make sure both of these are selected here. You can't hold down shift and grab them since they're on top of each other. So you will have to go in and go to this guy right here. And then just grab both of those with B. Make sure you don't grab vertices that are back behind everything. It's kind of difficult to grab, but that's fine. This is much easier. Like I said, you don't have to do this. This is definitely... Uh, the, the mesh definitely is fine the way that it is if you want to get it perfect then you can but you can totally work with this it's much easier and much better than working with this so let's go ahead and real quick put a displacement modifier on both these see the difference um, for these uh, for the messed up text we can put a displacement modifier on just modifier displace um, and you can see 
going to add a texture and we'll go to the texture tab change this from image or movie to clouds and you can see if we go back to the modifier tab and put the strength on 0.1 you can see that we have problems this is disconnecting itself actually it's uh it's it's not really working right there's gaps and missing edges and there's this weird stretching here and down here you can see you can see where this is all coming from because all these weird triangle verts and everything uh, we can go ahead and go over to our fixed text and add the modifier of displace and then change this to the texture that we already have by hitting this little box and now you can put the strength on point one just like the other text and you can see how much better this is everything is connected there's no gaps you can't see through anything um, there's no weird stretching there's no nothing like that it's much much better than this over here you can see the complete difference um, much easier to work with much better so yeah that's going to be it for today's tutorial hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys learned something new i will see you guys in the next one but until then bye bye